Richard, GW Martin, always invest in the latest technology. This is your pièce de résistance. Where did you get it and what is it? Uh, this is a C200 uh, from uh, Geo Kingsbury. It's an index C200. It's a triple turret, twin spindle machine uh, with a three meter bar feed. Sounds very impressive. How many, how many tools does it hold? I think it's got about 42 in all. You only know that because we counted them earlier. Correct. <laughs> so I know it's got 42. And all, all driven tooling? All driven tooling. Um, very flexible machine. I mean, the biggest issue about uh, uh, this machine really is it's got three turrets. So in theory, against a twin turret machine, it should be, you should be able to get 30% more productivity out of it. But of course, that's only when you've got a component that you can manage that. And by that, I mean something like this. This component here has got a lot of detail on it on both ends. And when you've got a, a, a triple turret machine, you've got to try and balance the detail that's required on each end. For instance, if you only add a hole up one end and not much detail on here, and then lots of detail on the other end, it would be out of balance because as this machine picks it up and takes it to the other spindle, it will have nothing to do. On a, on a twin spindle machine, it's important whether you've got three turrets or two turrets to try and balance out the work. Because really, when you're looking at pricing this and looking at how long it takes, the customer is really only paying for one half because the other half is happening in situ. So it's important that we try and balance that out. Now, when you've got three turrets, it's even more important because you don't want the third turret sitting there idle because it's finished all its work while everything else is carrying on. So it's a very, very important machine. It's a very fast machine, but you've got to have the right part for it. Okay, so with that part then, you look into first op one minute, then the second op an another minute roughly, but overall it's just one minute. It'll be one minute. So yes, exactly. So if you've got a, a minute one end, a minute the other end, then in every minute a component is going to come out of the, uh, yeah. of the conveyor. So, so it gives you the flexibility and efficiency because you've got the three meter bar feed? Three meter bar feed, yes. I mean, so we've got, we can run this once it's set and running. Uh, we can check sizes on the machine while it's running. So it's an extremely productive machine. And these parts are parted off, picked up by the parts catcher. There's a parts catcher inside here. Sorry? Parts catcher inside here, which will take the part off, put it on the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt comes out the back. Uh, it's all rubber, so it's insulated, so it can mark the part. And then we basically take the part off, clean it, and then measure it, and done. Now, with this solution from Geo Kingsbury, did they come up with a turnkey solution for this component, or this is purchased for your new business? No, no, we, we, we had the, the work for this type of machine. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've got a, a number of uh, twin spindle, twin turret machines in the company, as you know, uh, but this is the first triple t turret machine we've got. So um, we knew that would give us a benefit, and it, and it does. We're doing parts on here that we were doing on the, uh, uh, on the twin turrets about uh, 20 to 20%, 20 to 25% quicker than we are on the, uh, on the twin turret machine. So the extra turret does make a difference, but only on the components, as I say, that have got the work that, 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 you, that you can balance out. Does that come down to the skills of the operator and programmer in terms of the, the yes, caps? Yes, I think it's important when you're programming a part on a machine like this that you understand that your, the, the part is only going to be as quick as one end. And so if you can balance that one end out and maximise it, then you're going to absolutely maximise your efficiency on managing the part. Richard, that's a great insight into at the machine and how you're actually utilising spindles and turrets. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, yeah.